Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the convention center here in beautiful San Juan, Puerto Rico. It is the Predator World 8 Ball Championship. A loser's side matchup here between Alex Kazakis and Toru Kurabayashi. And I can tell you that Alex has literally just come from a loss straight over to this outside table. Can't be easy. Jim White's bringing you the action. I'm very happy to be joined by Mark White. And Mark, I'd like to know what the statistics are of players that have lost a match and gone right back on the table, how many they've won. Well, there's good evening, by the way. There's, there's two ways of looking at that, I guess. You're in good stroke, you're, you're, but on the other hand, you, you've just come. You're sick. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're, you're sick, but in good stroke. You feel as sick as a dog, but you're in good stroke. Is he tired? Has he eaten? I don't know. It's a, it's a tough one, but that's welcome to the world of pool. And that's uh, the way it is, you know? You know, this is why a lot of the snooker players that I know that have tried their hand at playing pool, they struggle with because in, in the snooker game, you played a match a day. Here, you get to the loser's bracket, and <laughs> pack your bags, bring a change of socks, and off to the next table. Yeah, and, you know, that's it's a young man's game at the end of the day these days. And when you're getting 128 players in a tournament and you've only got so much time to get the tournament done, you know, we're on a schedule here. Well, and uh, this, this if match is overrun... The, which the schedule is everything. The schedule must be adhered to and these players they uh, they go to bed they sleep they eat by the clock and then they come and if matches are delayed and i mean i i mean you've seen it you've been around the pool game enough now too it uh, you know it's not easy it's not easy being a player these days. there's never been a better time to be a player with what's going on but you better you better be mentally fit at the end of the day jim all said and done it's a job and in a job, you have to work, unfortunately. Oh. Alex is just a little of the frustration I was talking about, about the previous loss that brought him to this table. Probably still thinking about a few of the shots that he missed there. Doesn't want to bring any of that baggage. And there you see Toru Kurabayashi. That'll be Alex Kazakis' opponent. And I've actually seen him at world championships before he's been around the game a long time this japanese star yeah um uh, i don't know much about him to be honest i know lots about alex from athens in greece and his brother owns a burg a burger chain called home burger and that's one of alex's sponsors of course and it's on his shirt and i'm sure we'll see that but the trouble is, seeing that burger on his T-shirt, it's making me hungry. I want some dinner. I had a good burger here last night, right across from the hotel, an Angus beef burger. I had to mortgage my house for it, but it was good. I was going to say, did they get Angus to come and cook it for you, the price of it? So here we go then, the lag off between these two guys, hoping to stay in the competition. The loser of this one will be out of the tournament oh that's a tight one slightly i think is the japanese guy is going to get this kurubayashi she thinks it's right as well the, well the cameraman She's calling it the cameraman thought you were right so here we go it's a race to eight again it's losers round matchup so win or go home and it's a long way back from puerto rico to japan Oh, just avoided the scratch. Made a ball, I think, James. He did in the top corner. The break has been huge. Every match that we've seen, the player that's broken the best has won. And obviously, you got to keep that cue ball on the table, as Kurabayashi did there. And very, they've got a little longer. They've got to adhere to a 30-second shot clock, but 60 seconds after the break to try and decide your chosen suit and this really is a game of you know making good choices good shot selection and uh, cue ball control like every cue sport discipline yeah and even more so in this because you know this 
more balls on the table, isn't there? It's uh, tighter spaces to get in between. Often you have to nudge little balls out here and there, play little caroms. It's rarely is it straightforward. And there you see already there's a prime example of losing that cue ball, Jim. Well, he's got one shot, the 12, that's it. And it's between the window of the four and the two. Oh, yes, he's got it. But that definitely wasn't the ball he played no, on. it certainly wasn't. I and think he wanted to leave that ball. was his last ball because it's the one nearest the eight and would have afforded him the best possible position. But he's still got the 11 there, Jim. And even that shot, I think, was a little wayward, Mark. I think he tried to force that through a little further to play the 11 into the corner pocket. Yeah, he meant to stun run through, and he stunned it. Needed to go a bit higher on the cue ball, Jim. Still expect him to get this, but just a little tougher than he would have liked. Yeah, nice shot. Well, where's the cue ball? The cue ball was very close to that side pocket. And early indications are telling me that Toru is struggling a little bit with cue ball control. Yeah, often cue ball control is overlooked as one of the, you know, you get plenty of drills, Jim, that you see these players doing where they're just... You know, just potting balls and interested in knocking long balls in. But if you can get that cue ball on a string, you don't have to l ever leave yourself a, di uh, a difficult shot or at least cut them down by a, a large percentage. Well, I've seen a lot of good play. We're at the tail end of day, day two here in the World 8-Ball Championships, Predator World 8-Ball Championships. And for me, the best I've seen in just about every facet of the game is Spin Ko, Ko Ping Yi. Ran a six pack in his match this morning, but broke well, impeccable cue ball control. Just about did everything you'd want. And What's he done there? Again, that cue ball hasn't controlled it. It's gone too far. Yeah, I'm not even sure that he can cut this eight into the corner pocket where he's does finished. It it's a very fine cut, does very it, fine. Does it bank in the side, Jim, past the, the three? No, he's called it into the top corner. Wow. The top left corner, so what a high degree of difficulty this shot presents. What a shot, what a shot. Wow, what a way to finish. That's almost like a double-edged knife, that one. Your partner was probably half out of his chair a couple times, or your opponent, and in the end, you make great shots like this to secure the opening rack. That's 1-0 to Korobayashi, but what a shot he finished it on. Yeah, and what a way for Kazakis. You just mentioned he, he thought he was going to be out of his chair a couple of times, but he was sat in his chair, and he was right behind that pocket, and he knew before Korobayashi that that eight ball was in. Yeah, what a great shot. I mean, what he lacks in cue ball control, he makes up for in shot-making ability. He certainly does. Our referee for this match, Angela Williams. Well, the loud round of applause means that Alain Roland has taken a rack back against Victor Zelensky, the local man from Puerto Rico. He trails the pole by two racks to five. Got plenty of support, Jim, and that means a lot, doesn't it, to have some support in a venue? How, how important is that? Have you ever had support for yourself? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Not even when I played my own backyard. <laughs> Always rooting for the other guy, were they? Yeah, they, uh, it, it puts pressure on you, but it also can inspire you. You know, it just, again, it's all down to you, preparation and... No, just being fit for the fight. Plenty of balls moving again, but I don't recall seeing one go down. Yeah. So, Alex, a chance. Yeah, a lot of noise here. Good cue ball right down the middle line. 
popped it. And the ball's moving everywhere but into a pocket. He got some pop. And so Alex, fresh off a loss on one of the outside tables, comes to one of our TV tables and has to try and find his game and forget everything that just happened uh, about an hour and a half ago. Well, our good friend Tim De Reuter is on one of the outside tables and he trails Aloysius Yap, who just went down to Feder Gorst. Tim, 4-1 down in that one. Good long shot from Alex there. I mean, really has come of age. Alex is always there or thereabouts at the end of tournaments. One in Wisconsin, won the Pro Billiard Series. So he's got a win under his belt. Masters champion as well, countless Euro tours. He's played on Moscone Cup. He's got good pedigree. Yeah, we know who Alex is, and they look for his name in the draw. Of that, there's no doubt. But he's got a problem. Yeah, he's overhit this, isn't he? Overdrew it, didn't he? What's he done? What he's still he got a problem with that 12 ball, though, next to the 5. Left-hand side of your picture. That's got to be made, that ball. I'm not sure that you can make it in the corner pocket. So, cause for concern for Alex. He's got the 10 ball below it. He's come a bit funny on this, though, Jim, as well, because the 13 is going to be going towards that eight ball. But maybe you can use that to his advantage and open the eight ball up a bit. I don't know. What do you reckon? Mm. Put a bit of pace into this 14. Yeah, i got to be honest, Mark. It's, uh, I mean, any time you're moving balls around, there's risks. Erd on the side of caution. Still got some work to do here, though. He'd like to be a bit straighter on this so he could just drop it in and run through. This is a great shot. Look at this for a shot. Look at this for a shot. If it slows up, brilliant. If this 12 is available from where that cue ball is finished, that is gold. That is pure gold. Because I looked at it from our overhead camera, and I wasn't sure this was available at all. He has put that cue ball on a dime. What a shot. And now one more good positional shot from the 10 to the 8. Well, he may have just come off a loss, but he's still fighting. And looks to be playing very nicely as well, Jim. Already warmed up. He's OK. Yeah, just, just, just pinch, a little bounce. Pinch the pocket a little bit there, Mark, and 8 ball into the side. And for Alex to open his account here. And eight deposited. So Alex Kazakis pulls level with Toru Kurabayashi. One apiece, the race to eight. And that a terrific inning from Alex. Some terrific shot making, good cue ball control, and what looked very difficult indeed, he took out systematically. Yeah, he'll feel a whole lot better now. Here we see this great shot again, the position of the position. Well, it's exquisite. I mean, he had to go around the eight ball and then narrowly missed the two to land absolutely perfect on the 12. There's a nine ball fan in the audience there, look. He did, didn't look too impressed by Alex's shot. No. Alex looks tired. It is a long day. 
I mean mentally and physically draining. When you get bumped to the loser's bracket, you're you're pretty much playing match after match after match. There it is, look, home burger. <laughs> If I'm ever in Athens, I'm going to get Alex to hook me up with a good burger. Yeah, maybe a bit of tzatziki as well on it. How about that? Do you like a bit of tzatziki? Tzatziki? Yeah. Easy for you to say. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, yes. No, nothing. I thought the sixth. The, oh, dear. It's a mystery. And a mystery that as yet has been unsolved. Yeah. We had Jason Shaw and Zelensky were breaking from the center on this table to begin with. And then they moved to the side because they weren't having much success. problem up at the top corner as well and Kurabayashi looking at it that combination the three onto the 13 that's a problem I wonder if he's even contemplating playing the 10 onto the three onto the 13 well, we've got a an all finish tight going on on table four in the junior tournament. Riku Rumpanen played in all the events here, Jim. Young Riku. David Alcady winning 8 4. He marches on. Can he play the, this off the, play it off the, the other ball, Jim, to bring it out? That would be perfect. That would have been perfect. Not sure why he didn't try to. Well, we don't know that he didn't, Mark. Because I think he did. Look, he's smiling. I think he played that off the other ball, Jim. Yeah, that's still the problem ball for him. He's still got that ten in the same area. I like. What about the carom onto the? No. He's going straight. <laughs> Doesn't look comfortable, does he, Jimmy? He's just that little bit out here and there. Well, sooner or later, he's got to get after that problem area in the top corner pocket. Can leave the angle from this nine on the 11. Just off the cushion, uh, plenty of angle to drop onto that 10 if he wants to play the three ball. So we'll see if that's in the master plan. It's also got the angle on this. He could try and develop them now. Let's see what he's got in mind. There's the loose grip. Well, what a shot that is if he played short side on it. But he's still got the problem, Jim. He's going to have to dig down on this if he wants to develop the... Yeah, there we go. Dig down, catch the three ball, half ball, send that away and leave himself on the 13. Well, he did, but missed the pot. He left it to the end, Mark, where he had no options. Yeah, and ended up missing that 10 by quite some distance, Jim. I think he was thinking more about the 
the current. And I don't think he's covered the pocket for the three either. I think that three is available into the top right. Alex is having a look at it. Players on the 30 second shot clock. So you can't hang around too much. Nicely done. Decent angle on the seven here, Jim. Yeah, he's opened things up nicely now. And the only thing that stands between him and a 2-1 lead in this match is a glaring error. The only really awkward ball on the table now is the one. And that's not really that tough. Oh, he's okay. Thought he was going a bit close to that, Jim. It's perfect, though. Thought he'd spun it too much. Alex wasn't worried one iota. Of course he wasn't. It's perfect. Perf yep, you can knock the one in, just draw, s draw back softly for the six to the side. Oh. Here we go then. Alan Roland, he's making a bit of a comeback, Jim. That big cheer was for Alan, who's halved the lead now. 3-6, he trails Victor Zelensky. And here on the home front, Alex Kazakis. After the mistake from Kurobayashi, a 2-1 advantage, and he'll break in rack number four. Get that break cue out, settle in, and he'll probably have to play another match. Even if he wins here, he may play one more tonight. So he's going to have to do a little bit of work if he wants to make that pillow soft tonight. He's holding the BK rush, the blue BK rush. Forgot his chocolate. 128 men taking place in the Predator World 8 ball. Hasn't been played in 10 years. Last time it was played, Chang Jun Lin, your winner, back in 2012. And Ralph Suke and he are the only two playing this year that are previous 8 ball winners. So good chance that a new 8 ball champion will be crowned this year. And not wishing either of them any bad luck. But well, I've got my thoughts on it. And a lot of people are starting to mention the name Ko Pin Yi. He certainly, well, you saw him play this morning. Best I've seen so far. But it all boils down to this, the break. And whoever breaks the best. Three ball in, nine ball in. That's a pretty good break. Now what's he got, Jim? Let's have a look at 
how everything settles. A three, five, nine. This looks pretty good. Yeah, it's a pretty strong break, isn't it? Three on the break, Jim. Yeah, I've got to believe that he might be looking at stripes here, even though he made two solids. But the stripes just look like they're marginally easier. But again, I'm not an eight ball player, so. No, I like the 15 here to start off and then. I like commentating with Tony Robles, who's a very good eight ball player. Counts eight ball and straight pool as his two best disciplines. And he said a lot of the things you look for when you're playing straight pool are exactly the same things you look for when you're playing eight ball. You look for shots that where, where you might be playing specifically one shot with one purpose, but you've got an outlet if it doesn't work. Yeah, I commentated with Michael Yednak, whose favorite game is also is 14-1. They're both good friends, played in the same place, the same pool room in New York called Amsterdam Billiards. Almost like the mecca of pool in New York. And he said it helps. He said, well, he said exactly the same. I mean, they've spent so many hours and days and years together on the same table, you know. Yeah, just swing this around off two cushions back out towards the middle of the table. He'd probably like to finish on the 10, 10 to the eight, but as you, I think alluded to earlier, Mark, that 13 also provides pretty good, pretty good position to the eight, it's closest. Yeah, right in control. I've just noticed one of your fellow countrymen has just started out, Jason Clatt. He's up against Alexa Pachel from Serbia. Last chance saloon for both of those. Yeah, it's all losers in play tonight. So a lot of pressure. You don't have that extra loss in your pocket. Just got to be a little careful here, does Alex? This is a confident shot. A little bump on the one would be nice. Heart was in his mouth at one stage, I'm sure. Look at that, Jim. Perfect. And perfect to the very end. 3-1, Kazakis leading. He's got the break in rack number five, but he's starting to open up and get into the comfort zone here. Another good break would put him in good stead. Zelensky on the table next to us has just gone on the hill. He leads Alan Roland from Puerto Rico by seven racks to three. Lots of matches starting out, guys. If you want to go and check any of them out, you can go to TV kazoom.com and there's a mobile friendly app Jim where you can go and have a little play on your phone and choose which match you want to watch everything you want is on there I'm going to be doing that later is that what you do as well I normally go back to the hotel and what, what do you do watch some Paul <laughs> what else is there in yeah, life check a few matches Look at the draw, look at what the possibilities are. What we've got to look forward to tomorrow. Start again at 10 a.m. tomorrow, Jim. It's our, it's our job. It's our job. That's, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. that's what we do. Rack number five. Good break, the order of the day. 
Do you do what I do as well? Commentate along with matches when you're watching them on your phone or on your laptop, whatever? Uh, nope, nope. I, uh, I don't do that. Oh, Tim De Reuter has come back against Aloysius Yap, now 4-4. Four -four. Dry break from Kazakis there. Kurabayashi, a quick look up at the clock. 60 seconds, as I said, to make a decision. This is kind of 50-50 for me. Solids or stripes, both look pretty good. Yeah, I suppose if you're, you choose stripes, maybe if anything above because of the, four, the 15 ball, blocking one of the pockets for the eight, but doesn't really make that much difference. Yeah, Alex having a look there. I'm wondering what he played there as well. Oh, he's dead on straight on the nine. Dead straight on the 10 into the other side pocket. I don't see any problem balls, Mark. Maybe the 10 at the top end of the table, but even that available to the corner. Yeah. Sometimes you see it's a little bit like watching a chess game from the outside to see shots. I mean, if this is me, I'm playing the 14 just like he did. Now I'm playing the 11 in the side. I'm getting rid of that 10. And then coming down here where the last two stripes are. And that's exactly what he's looking at. Yeah, I like that. Confirm Victor Zelensky has beaten Alan Roland from Puerto Rico by eight racks to three. Zelensky earlier lost out to Jason Short. He's gone straight back onto another table and retrieved himself. Yeah, I just play this 15 into the bottom right. Cue ball back out into the same area it's in now. And he'd be chalking this one up soon enough. We've got a fun match coming up for you at 9 p.m. Nokioi is going to be in action on table one. And it's going to be against Mickey Kraus from Denmark. And in goes the eight, Jim. Yes, and Naoki Naokioi's countryman, Toro Kurabayashi, pulls one back. 3-2, he'll break in the next. Kazak is still... Pretty positive sitting in his chair, upright, waiting for the chance. That's all you can do. You never want to wish your opponent any bad luck. You just want to be ready when the time comes. And you always assume that time is going to come. Ever ready. Like a Duracell battery. Go on and on and on, Jim, sometimes, don't you?
Predator World 8 Ball Championships. A quarter of a million dollars on offer. Total purse, 60,000 to the eventual winner, 40,000 to the runner up. Buy a lot of hamburgers with that. And if Kazakis goes back to Athens where he doesn't pay for burgers, even better. <laughs> and goes to five. Yeah, and the two at the very top. Good break, though. Park that cue ball in the middle. Fully yeah. deserving of balls going down. Yeah, two dropped in, lovely. It's got to be spots. Solids, as you say, Jim. Lows, highs, solids, stripes, Stripe, whatever you want. Stripes, solids, low balls, high balls. Do you have a favorite spot or stripes? Do you ever feel that you do better on one kind of ball than the other? I've always preferred spots. The solids. Yeah, solids, yeah. Well, you come from a snooker background. It's probably a little bit more familiar. Yeah. I like the, I actually like that, as they're called, solids, rather than the, the stripes. <laughs> There might be some players that might agree with that, Mark. I think that uh, easier to cite. A lot of people sometimes cite. I've, I've heard the lights yeah. as uh, as a citing method for some players. I've never really understood that. But they say hit them where it shines. That's what they used to say in the, the snooker halls years ago. Hit them where it shines. Have you ever heard that, Jim? No, well, I've never heard that, but I, I'm assuming that uses the lighting yeah. philosophy to yeah. cite. Yeah. But again, I've never really understood it. I, I just, I played enough when, uh, when I was younger and just got down and I knew where to hit the ball. And the hard part was hitting it there. Yeah. <laughs> just there. The 14 passes, doesn't it? Pass to six. Yeah, he's in pretty good shape here. 11, just a little bit tricky maybe, but that goes past the six as well. Certainly looks like the 11 goes. I don't know whether he's considering dropping below it. Oh, a cute little girl there look with the bow in her hair. That's what I've noticed, Jim, about this venue. Lots of families, very fa family orientated, aren't they, around? Yeah, the around city of San, Juan. San Juan, they certainly are. You see a lot of families out on the weekends. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was a, a basketball tournament on the very first floor. We're on the third floor for this event of the convention center. But on the first floor, big basketball tournament, a lot of kids in the area. Good shot, very yeah, good shot. Nice control, wasn't it? And speaking of kids, we also have the World Juniors, the World Nine Ball Juniors being played in conjunction with the World 8-Ball Championships. And I mean, Predator is created along with CSI, just an expo, a billiard expo here. The Caribbean Championships are going on. Great venue. It's party time in Puerto Rico. Well, hospitality that this island they have that island mentality, we've heard. You're on island time. And so laid back, so easy going, so friendly. 
I'm not the game three three, Jim. No player able to pull away. Yeah. Whoever wins it's gonna work for it. <coughs> three three it is, Mark and yeah, you mentioned the big prize money earlier, Jim. 60, 40, and 20 to the runners up, to the losing semi finalists, rather. 10 to the losing quarter finalists. And all that money has to come from somewhere. There's the little girl again. That she's enjoying it. Maybe there's a champion there for the future. Who knows? And there's Wojtek. Was that Wojtek Chef check in the background? I'm not sure if it was or not. Yeah, just mentioning that the, the, the money involved, you know, and lots of sponsors involved in that. Predator, the main one, Madaya Light. Tourism as well of Puerto Rico. They've been giving us a lot of help over the last couple of weeks with promotion and stuff like that and organising, you know, entertainment for the opening ceremonies and stuff like that. It's really been a party atmosphere, hasn't it? The rums don't, of Puerto Rico. Don't, that's say, don't forget Marcus Shamat's favourite. Puerto Rico, well, rums, 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 of Puerto, oh, well, yeah. rums of Puerto Rico, well, world famous for their rum. And it was free at the opening ceremony, which made it a little bit more enjoyable, Jim. <laughs> of course. And uh, our other sponsors, Kamui, Alpha Coin, and Jam Up Apparel. If you need a nice T-shirt, head over to jamupapparel.com. There's our referee, referee Angela Williams setting the balls up she's working hard if she's not refereeing she's on the shot clock three apiece so a race to five now sorry Jim I just noticed a score flash Tim De Reuter 5-4 up on Aloysius Yap are we in for uh any of the prize money if he cashes? Well, I should hope so. What a break that is. We are a team. Absolutely stopped that dead. And made one in the side yet again, Jim. Breaking well. Two balls, both balls in the side. Almost made the four Raider as well. Yeah, one of them starts to break and pop that white. The way that Korobayashi is right now. Going to take some beating. Us snooker players would be no good at this game, would we, Jim? We'd just be coming thin off the pack and taking the cue ball up towards the bulk end again. Yeah, safe breaks don't really get the cash in this game. <laughs> Awkward queuing. Might decide to take the 12 here, Jim. Yeah, and everything's nicely in the open. I mean, this is... A beautiful lay. Deciding to take the more awkward ball. Wonder how he feels I about taking your advice now. I don't know why he played that to be honest why he chose to bridge over a ball when he could have shot the 12 straight absolutely I just don't see the the, the logic in it a guilt edge chance now for Some, Kazakis sometimes Mark nerves manifest themselves in different ways there's not always a missed shot sometimes it's just not thinking straight. I mean, in his mind, he probably had that 12 as the last ball to play onto the eight, and he wasn't going to shoot it until last, no matter what. Well, 
I said earlier that sometimes the plans change. But he's still at the 11 there as well, you know. He's, it's not like he didn't have alternatives. Maybe, it's, as you said, you know, not thinking straight. I mean, after long days in the booth here, we, we don't always say the, <laughs> the, the most sensible of things. Well, I certainly don't. <laughs> Doesn't take a long day for me. <laughs> Don't know if the seven passes the 11 into the corner pocket. If not, that's, uh, well, he's shooting it, so it must go. And it does, wide open. That was going to be a problem ball. And Alex is going to help burn that bad miss into Korobayashi's memory bank. Or in the side. Yeah, he'll just stay above the six, play the one last, and just spin it off the two cushions, top cushion, right cushion, come down on the right-hand side for the eight. And just important to, to leave that angle that I noted. Anywhere but straight. Made sure of that. Nice shot. And pretty straightforward now, just off the two cushions. Advantage again, Kazakis. Yeah, when it looks like the Japanese star was going to be pulling one in front and breaking a bad miss, an unforced error. And for me, an error in judgment. Yeah, for me as well. I don't know whether we can go back to that, but I'd love to see that layout again, Jim, just to see what options he had. Well, speaking of layouts, there's what the scene looks like here in the convention center in San Juan, as I said, so much going on. Here's that miss you were talking about. And the 12 is right there. Could have easily taken the 12, drawn back up near the middle of the table for either the 9 or the 11 that he missed. Yeah, I don't understand that. Fine work from Jimmy Warren there on the camera. Thanks for that, Jimmy. He heard what we said on the replays, Jim. Is this something about the name Jim that just makes you great people? You'd have to ask him that. 4-3 to Kazakis. 5-5 five, five now. Tim de Reuter, Aloysius Yap. Keeping a close watch on our colleague. Yeah, one lost side, Jim. I don't know how Tony Robles is Made out with John Mora. That was a five o'clock match. So oh, that's probably long done. Yeah, he lost. Tony lost. Your man won. If that's what you want to gloat well, about. No, no. John plays in uh, in our club in Toronto. So when he is when he is there, he comes in and uh, practices, and he's a real diligent practicer too. And I can't imagine another player who got to the level he got to playing right-handed, ran into shoulder problems kept competing, learned to play left-handed, and still competes at this level. Breaks right-handed. If you watch him, he'll break right-handed, but he plays left-handed. I mean, it's, uh, well, you know, you go back to the snooker world, Ronnie O'Sullivan, right-handed and oh, left-handed, yeah. but uh, no, who else? At who the else? end of the day, Jim, he just wanted to be a lefty. Well, he's, he's pretty handy as a lefty, let me tell you. But that's a good win for John Mora, too, because Tony knows how to play. Oh, there's no one in this building, I don't think, with more knowledge than him. Kazakis 
suffering. And this is the picture of a man suffering. Just cannot figure out the break. And balls hitting points. You saw that 10 ball hit the side point. Thought it was in. And yeah, it, was, it was a similar break, wasn't it? That uh, The one that kurobayashi has been employing. And controlled the cue ball nice, Jim. But never got the same result. Maybe a little bit less power or more or something. Yeah, I'd, you know what? You'd you'd have to go out there and hit a couple dozen breaks and try and find out what that happy speed is. You know, both players will have hit a few breaks on this table, but you just try and, and generate as much power with control. What's he done here? I'm wondering again if he was playing a little carom. He's got the five in the side. What's he got down here? Uh, uh, nothing. I don't think he's dropped onto anything here. I'm not sure that five goes by the seven in the side. And if it does, it's not a full pocket, and he's queuing right over the 14. Yeah, and we saw what happened last time he was queuing over a ball. Well, this that's time, that's good shot. That's a very good shot. That was not a full pocket. And that was more difficult than the last one that he missed, I think, Jim. You can see this five goes into the far right-hand side of that middle pocket. And that was a good shot, good recovery. And that was a good shot. Very that was one shot. of his problem balls as he hit it far oh, enough. Oh, it doesn't go past. But it does go into the other corner, Jim, I think. Yeah, if he could have just flicked that 12 out of the way, it would have been better. But he's still at the table and still with the controls in his hand. Yeah, the way this match is unfolding, Mark, this has got Hill Hill written all over it. Literally. Just neither player really seeming to take the bull by the horns. Yeah, it's either a break that holds them up or a missed positional shot, a missed shot. Need the player threatening to make a big gap Jim it's going to be whoever holds their nerve I think as we get towards the second half of this match it's where we are now uh, needs to run off the side round back over what kind of angle is there Jim not much not much, I'm afraid. And there you can see it. Can he force this in? He's going to have to try. Oh, here we go. Zip it round. Don't think it, he's going to have to play it in the corner again. Yeah, he's given himself a chance. A bit like the first day he had to play. Yeah, corner pocket has been called. But he's got a chance at it. likes those shots doesn't he yeah I wasn't sure that was in neither was he uh, caught the cushion a little ways up from that corner pocket but just the speed allowed it to drop but that's a good recovery and 4-4 four, four it is eight racks nothing to choose between these two and Korobayashi will break in rack number nine we're halfway there. 
Good shot here though. Just caught the cushion about four or five inches up the rail and still went in pretty clean. It's always, well it was always a mystery to me but not since I learnt about new cloths, Jim, and you know, sliding in and pocket speed. Having a little chat. Enjoying it. Happy chap, isn't he? My, uh, my co-commentator in the last match, Margaret Fefalova steyer I asked her one bit of advice she could give any players out there either looking to start or you know, thinking about even making pool a career, she said, have fun. Enjoy yourself, have fun. And that gentleman watching on, he's actually a player. Yes, he played on here earlier on today. Yoshihiro Kitatani. Yes. He lost to Carlo Beata. Carlo Beato beat him. 8-5 on this very table. So I wonder if he gave Toru any advice. Don't lose. Yeah, try to get to 8 before try your to opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, you're a funny guy. Oh, let's look at that break. And he's made that sight exactly the same break he's been employing, Jim. And that's the one that Alex tried. He's didn't work for Alex. He's controlling the cue ball. Like that cue ball is coming right down the middle. So he's hitting him flush. And again, he's getting a ball and fully deserving of getting a ball. Yeah, and look at, look at the solids here. Yeah, the, but there's a couple pockets guarded by stripes and most notably down at the end. The six, see, Bill? Yeah, the six is, is blocked into that corner. And he does have, it looks like he's got the nine into the side. That might be the only solid, or sorry, the stripe that's available. And for that very reason, I think he's gonna, it's gonna go with, with the high value balls, the nine, nine and up. Nine through 15. Drew back into the two. Does he feel that there's a combination here? Yeah, he's just called the combination. 13 into the 12. Couple of matches on the hill. Sharik Saeed from Singapore, 7-2 against Rota. Jeremy Seaman was going well against Regley. But Regley now on the hill, leads 7-4. So a big turnaround in some of the games. Looks pretty set. Now, where did he land with that cue ball? He's on the 11, I believe. Can he get through to the 11? He certainly did it look too terribly comfortable using the bridge. But cue ball just kept running on and on. And maybe the intended ball, the 15 over the corner. No good. 14. Oh, that's a tight angle. Good shot. Yeah, he's got to let this cue ball run a bit, though. If he likes to cut back, cut this 15, it's a thin cut. And the cue ball's going to be let loose. He's going to be running around the table, Jim, like a scared cat. Like a scared Kato. Well, unless you catch it too wow. thick. That will never threaten the corner. Oh, he'd love to have that one over again. This was just a complete mishit. Just trying to spin that in and just not, did not judge the deflection 
of that cue ball off the cue tip at all. So Alex, you've been in your chair for a little while. We'll see if you can come out of it and knock these balls in, get yourself back in front. Never minded my opponent making most of their balls first and then missing it. Gives us gives you a lot more room, doesn't it, Jim? I wonder just how tired Alex Kazakis is. Already, I think his third match today. Or is it his second, Jim? No, it's a good question. I think this might be, if he's come from the winner's bracket, he, he might have played a match earlier today and then lost his second. So this will be his third. Yeah. But he's played into an area here where he'll have his choice of balls. Very methodical player, Alex. Does a lot of things right, which is why he's won the things that he has won. Notably, that famous Masters final against Shane Van Boning, a nine zip, Jim. Well, that was nicely controlled. Had to leave that gap between the colors. Now, just a quick look to see what he wants to do with the eight. Doesn't look like the eight goes by the 11 into the side. That would have been the easiest pocket. So he's gonna have to draw this and just come in between the 13 and the eight. little bit short but it's okay yeah it's not bad he's bridging over the 13 but again he doesn't have to do anything with the cue ball just roll this eight into the side and no trouble at all Alex Kazakis back five four in front and breaking we'll see if he's learned anything from Kurabayashi's break because Kurabayashi started breaking pretty well. Maybe see if Alex picked up anything. Where is he breaking from? What sort of speed was he hitting him? But 5 4, he's in front. Yeah, can you think of another sport, Jim, where, I mean, okay, tennis is very important, the, the, you know, the serve is very important. But you can't really learn anything from your opponent's serve, can you? Because it's got no, you know, nothing to do really with the, with the way the equipment's reacting. It's more about, can you think of another, another sport? Golf. I mean, you can, uh, you can see the way that somebody's putt goes. So yeah, you the, lay of the, land, the lay of the green. Yeah, of course. You, uh, you know, if somebody's got a similar line as, y as your putt, you... You know, you learn from watching his putt, the speed that he hits it. But certainly in pool, I mean, like like most sports, and good players will tell you. There's a happy couple. Look, hi, they look happy, don't they? 
Yeah, well, he's on the winner's side. That's why he's so happy. <laughs> Certainly is. <laughs> Ruiz, what a player he is. But in Spain, how well represented are they? Quite a contingent came from Spain. Am I mistaking that man for somebody else, Mark? I'm sorry, I thought that looked like uh, Ruiz. Well, I, hope, I hope so, because Ruiz, his girlfriend's at home, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looked like if, if she's watching, if he's she's in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't think he was. Now he pulled that one. That was entirely different to anything he's done. And he got a ball off the break, but he cut that. <laughs> Mark, you're still <laughs> laughing at. <laughs> Well, it's late. No, you <laughs> could well be right, Jim. You could well be right. You know what my eyes are like. Well, I'm right about Spain being very well represented. Oh, you're right? certainly right about that. <laughs> yeah, they've sent them all. David Alcady, who I know very well. Yeah, one that's been flying under the radar a bit is Honus Salto Comino who's gone deep in the lot. He went quite deep in the US Open and he went deep in the Tembo event here. And I believe he's still going well in this as well. Oh, just flicking off that five. Still thinking about Kazakis' break. Oh, he pulled the cue ball over to the side cushion. I haven't seen that once yet. But I guess he felt like it was worth a shot. He wasn't getting anything any other way. Just wants to pull this back and leave that nine into the side. Uses the extension. Sees this as the key shot, Jim. Nicely done. He's playing the more difficult 15 now. Leaving the nine for last. Offers much easier position to the eight. Yeah, he caught that a bit thick. Yeah, lost a bit of the pace in the cue ball, so he's finished a little bit short on this. He's just made his work harder. It's, it's still there. It's just not as easy as he wanted. And yeah, now needs to stun it off the side rail for the eight past the one, Jim. And it goes. Just had to reroute. Just had to take a little detour. Detours are interesting sometimes. You never know what you might discover. I know the great Efren Reyes learns a lot from shots that go wrong. Kazakas, two racks clear, 6-4. Well, let's see if he uses that cut break again, Mark. Tim De Reuter once again finds himself a rack down 6-5 now but still in touch with the 2021 US Open runner-up Aloysius Yap there we see Angela very nerve <laughs> excuse the pun it's very nerve-wracking 
wrecking balls, isn't it? <laughs> Can be. Well, you're always one person's friend and the other one's enemy. Well, you just try to give a solid rack every time. And that's what the arrow rack is designed to do. Also, when I watch them lifting it up, it looks like it's about as easy as any rack I've ever seen to Absolutely remove. Absolutely right. Yeah. Good design. Okay, I'm curious to see what Kazakis does here. Is he going to pull this to the side cushion again? He was successful last time. Yes, he did. And he's made the ball in the side again. So, you know, kudos to him for changing it up when he knew he had to, and it's been successful, Jim, twice. Yeah, and kudos for him having the courage to change, too. You know, go away from what they're really trained to practice, that flush break with power. What do you fancy here? Highs, lows? I think he's going to go with the stripe simply because the one stripe is covering the two. So he's got the nine into the side. Eleven to follow. Now he needs to get after that 10. Yeah, he can just so draw back off this a little bit, Jim, can't he? Well, I, th I think he wanted to be a little straighter on this to be able to follow through to get the 10 in the side pocket. Toru can just look on, wait for a chance, stay positive. Another Robles, Esteban up against Junior Landon Hollingsworth, 5-5. Five, five. He's fighting for a chance. He's the owner of AlphaCoin, another one of our sponsors. Have you got any cryptocurrency, Jim? Have you invested in that or not? No. Or don't just snooker holes? Don't know much about it. Not too. My investments aren't too bright, Mark. But I uh, don't know a lot about cryptocurrency. Buy uh, low, sell high, Jim. Alex, what did you have? Thanks for that. <laughs> He's suffering. What did he do wrong? I was listening to the cryptocurrency. <laughs> oh, he's gone out. He's overrun it. He wanted to be. Can he cut this in? Yes. No. Wow, had to play safe. Yeah, he's giving himself a sound talking to there. Just a real bad shot from Alex, position-wise, when he had control of the table. It's all great to me, Jim. Oh, this is nice. Just poked out. He's left the 11 in the side at least. Has he covered the other one, though? He's having a look. Did he cover the other one? Yes, he has. Down the bottom right corner. So, missed on one count, but rock solid on the other. Worth another look. The three over to the 14 to cover it up. Clever little shot, wasn't it? Alex will be having a go at this in a minute, though, and he's going to play the one. Well, it's going to be left to chance, purely left to chance, though. Yeah, he's going to have to disturb it, leave a nice angle on the one over the side when he's taken this 12. That 10 ball has been a thorn in his side the whole game. Well... 
answers on an email, please, about that one. Believe it or not, he was trying to dislodge the 14 there. That's why he played at that speed, just the top spin tuck and took it into the rail. Not a bad shot. Not a bad safety shot. Yeah, pretty good. Plays a lot of snooker as well, Alex. Yeah, he's thrown the gauntlet down now. He's kind of forced Toru to have to reply. Because Alex's balls are in the open now. Oh. Risky, well, Tim, risky. Yeah, that was dangerous. Really dangerous. I mean, that cue ball could easily have feathered off that one and gone into the pocket, and that would have been disaster. Just slightly thicker hit, and it was in. Yeah, turning into a chess game now. Nice weight again. There is a shot in the side though, if he's interested in it, Jim. The four. When do you pull the trigger? When you have no other options. And that looks like right now Well, he should be able to get through to the three. That's near the corner pocket. Or, no, maybe not. No, he can't. Seven, it's going to have to be then. Seven past the three. It's tight. He's missed it. He's gone too wide. And he hasn't covered up anything. No, there's a chance here. All right, it's a tough chance it is but it's a chance and a while ago Alex really had none this was all going to be whether or not Kurabayashi was going to make a mistake but he's given him half a chance he can see this 10 he's got to get the cue ball back just past the middle oh beautiful shot cued it Lovely, didn't he? Well, I'm not sure he's come far enough. Oh, he's laughing. He's smiling to himself. I don't think it is. Well, it looks better from this angle, Jim. Yes, he's on it. Wow. Kazakis to go on the hill with this eight ball. It's been a hard fought for rack. It's okay if you win it. Not so good if you lose it. It can destroy you. Well, Kurabayashi has to feel like he's been cursed not to win this rack. Oof, what a shot. A bit of a twitch, but he got it. He got it. One of the fiercest competitors on the circuit. 7 4. The hill arrives. This was a good shot. He had to get it. Had to draw that cue ball back far enough to leave the 14 on. He did. And he'll break for the last time. Probably that cut break again. Yeah, it's been working for him, hasn't it? Sharik Saeed on the hill, 7-4. Lang Yi Yu, 7-3 up. Dennis Grabe. Wow, this is a good result. He's beaten Abdullah Al Youssef. Great player from Kuwait. He's beaten, Dennis has beaten him 8 2. Jason Clatt, 2 2. Hollingsworth back in the lead against Esteban Robles. 
Oh, he's come from the other side, look, Jim. 7-4. Dry break. So when he needed it most, it deserted him. As dry as the Arizona desert. And there's no time like the present now for Kurabayashi. He's got to find his A game. Yeah, he's, it's no miss pull now for him. To screw this over for either the 10 or the 13. Ugh. He's just completely taken his eye off it. It's the, the shots he's missed is when he's tried to spin the cue ball and he hasn't allowed for the deflection because he was trying to spin that over in behind the 10 to play the 10 to the same pocket. I thought that shot required a little bit of bottom as well. He was trying to do it with just straight top and side spin. He's forced the cue ball into it, bent the cue ball into the the shot. Well, Alex would love to finish this here. Corner pocket. It's there. Shot. Oh, it's okay. Two in the side, seven down, down the rail. It's going to be the seven because if he makes the two, does the seven pass the five, Jim? Oh, sorry, the four. Does it pass the five? bit between his teeth here Jim I think he feels it Mark getting hungry he wants a burger Is the end nigh? I would shoot the two now. If I was him, I'd play the two now. If for no other reason, if he goes too far and drops behind the five on the four, he would have had the one as an out ball. Well, now he's got to be a little bit more precise. He's elected to play the five. Brave shot that. Got the five into the corner pocket. And just off the side cushion. And it'll leave the four to the corner. Straight through for the eight. And Alex Kazakis. Follows a loss up with a win. Yeah, it takes guts to come off a loss like that. And literally five minutes later, you're playing the next match. Fighting for your life to stay in. 
Yeah, it's a good win for Alex. And it certainly eases the pain of that loss. It was an 8-7 loss that brought him right to this table. So you'll be very happy about that win for sure. 8-4, Kazakis over Kurabayashi. And Kurabayashi, the long trek home to Japan. And Alex Kazakis, Mark, well, he's on to live another day. Yep, he'll be back. And um, we're going to be back sometime very soon i think i might be going over to the other table jim i don't know what i'm doing yet if not we'll be back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m thanks for watching guys jim white a gentleman as ever i'll leave the final word with you cheers mark and uh yep it all heats up again tomorrow morning got one more match tonight the late draw nine o'clock draw and then tomorrow morning folks you uh hope you've enjoyed the predator world eight ball coverage mark white jim white all the very best. Have a great evening.